Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is your Daily Vitamins. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. You can also follow the Queen Amadai Shakur fan page, and you can follow me on Twitter at dgoddess27. Okay, so is the audio okay? Can you all hear me okay? Let me know if there's any issues with the audio. Let me get once in the chat if the audio is fine. Okay, hello, Anisha, Cherie. Okay, D. Reed, Just Biz, Mr. Hotel, The Conscious Room. All right. Once in the chat. Okay. Everybody said it's okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Jay Parrish. It's Felicia. Courtney J. All right. Candy Girl. Vince, I am from the UK. Okay. Thank you, Vince. That's perfect audio. All right. Miss MT. Uh, Yanita Ya. Okay. So let's get into it. Sally D. I see you, beloved. Nisi Nisi. Truly that girl, uh, the great. Okay, Sonia. A shout out. Hello, Isaac. Okay. Black Cougar. Shout out to everyone in the chat and everyone tuned into the Queen. Okay, let's go ahead and get the likes up. Please like and share. All right, very important to like and share. Also, please double check and make sure that you're still subscribed to the Queen's channel because you know how screw tube will sometimes unsubscribe people. So make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. All right, so with that all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I know y'all are ready to hear what I have to say about wig, but we'll get to that in a second because first things first, I have to, you know, I can't spend all of my time Going in on wig, even though I have to, you know, expose these truths and things like that. But I want to first talk about some other relevant issues that I find very interesting and that need to be discussed. And so I have to keep my real work at the forefront of all things. OK, so listen to this. Black people have been getting less oxygen than needed. OK, and they have been knowing this for 50 years. Now, we're going to talk about this. Because I told y'all before about the medical genocide, which we know about it. And I also told you all how that uh, that blood pressure or that thing they put on your finger at the hospital, I forget what you call it, but uh, how that doesn't always work correctly for black folk. Uh, so they're talking about it again. Non-white ICU patients get less oxygen treatment than, than needed. All right. Now it says a flaw in a widely used medical device that measures oxygen levels causes critically ill Asians, Blacks, and Hispanics to receive less supplemental oxygen to help them breathe than white patients. When well, that's something, pay attention. All right. And this is according to data from a large study published on Monday. Now, pulse oximeter, oximeters, that's what it's called. You know, when you go to the hospital or the doctor's office and they take your vitals and they take your blood pressure and they tell you, hold out your finger and they put that little thing on your finger. That's what they're talking about. It's called an oximeter, oximeter clip. OK, so they clip it onto your finger and then pass uh, and pass red and infrared light through the skin to gauge oxygen levels in the blood. Now, it has been known since the 1970s that skin pigmentation can throw off the readings. Now, do you all think these things are by accident or by design? I'm going to go with the latter. So they say they have known this since the 70s, so they could have clearly fixed this by now if they wanted to or if they even cared. OK, so it throws off the readings, but the discrepancies were not believed to affect patient care. That's what they say. Now, among 3,069 patients treated in a Boston intensive care unit uh, between 2008 and 2019, people of color were given significantly less supplemental oxygen than would be considered optimal compared to white patients uh, because of inaccuracies in pulse oximeter readings related to their skin pigments, according to studies. Isn't that something? Like, I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all sit here and believe the things that this nefarious government tells you, and if you believe the things that some of these medical professionals even tell you, at the end of the day, I'm not telling you don't believe your medical professionals, but what I am telling you is that always get a second opinion. You see, when I've, I've ever gone to the doctor or hospital, or whatever, and they told me something was wrong before I listened to what they said and just read out and, you know, started taking whatever prescription they want to prescribe. Because let's not forget that some doctors get kickbacks from pharmaceutical companies for giving you certain medications. So with that all being said, how do you know that they're not just giving you something, you know, just so they can get a kickback? Now, right. Let's not put it past them. And there, there's been cases uh, where this has absolutely happened. 
Uh, so with that all being said, I always like to get a second opinion and sometimes even a third. So I'm just telling you to do your due diligence, do your own research, because you can look up these medications for yourself and see what you find about them. We're not professionals because uh, we're not doctors. But what I'm saying is you can at least look it up and see if what you're told by the doctor goes along with what they say. And then when you go to the pharmacy and they give you your prescriptions, they actually give you paperwork that tells you about the side effects, if any, and things like that. Uh, so but it's also to your due diligence. It would behoove you to go and get a second opinion. OK, and if both doctors say and agree the same thing, well, then that's what you go by. OK, now, if there's a discrepancy between the two doctors, then maybe you want to get a third opinion. All right. So I'm just giving you some advice. I'm not a doctor and I am clearly not giving you medical advice. OK, so now with that all being said. Nurses and doctors make the wrong decisions sometimes and end up giving less oxygen to people of color because they're fooled by the incorrect readings from pulse oximeters. And this is what Dr. Leo Anthony Selly of Harvard Medical School and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, who oversaw the study, this is what he said. Uh, so at the end of the day, this is what he says. Now, with that all being said, uh, they say for the study published in JAMA Internal Medicine, pulse oximetry readings were checked against direct measurement of blood oxygen levels, which is not practical in the average patient because it requires a painful invasive procedure. Now, the authors of a separate study involving patients with stupid 19 published recently in the same journal saw that occult hypoxemia and oxygen saturation level below 88 uh, percent, despite pulse oximeter readings of 92% to 96% and 3.7% of blood samples from Asian patients and 3.7% of the samples from black patients and 2.8% of the samples for non-black Hispanic patients versus 1.7% of samples from Caucasian patients. Now the Caucasians accounted for only 17.2% of all patients with occult hypoxemia. Now the authors concluded that the racial and ethnic biases in pulse oximetry uh, of accuracy have resulted in delayed or withheld treatments among Black and Hispanic patients with stupid 19. Pulse oximetry can also be affected by obesity, medications used in critically ill patients, and other factors, according to Dr. Seeley. Um, now, IMARC Group Market uh, Research firm, they forecast the global pulse oximeter market reaching $3.5 uh, dollars by 2027 pay attention that's a whole lot of cash okay following the 2021 sales of 2.14 uh, billion they say we think it's very reasonable at this point to call upon purchasers and manufacturers to make changes to these devices and this is what dr eric ward who's a co-author of an editorial that was published with the study and that's the information that he had to say about it and so, honey, y'all need to be paying attention. That's your lifeline, okay? That's your lifeline, in case you missed it. And so, with that all being said, let's move on to the next receipt. Or not the next receipt, but the next topic. Okay? Likes up, everyone, please like and share. Hold on, beloveds. Let me get this back up on the screen real quick. Okay. Hold on. Technical difficulties. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I have also told you all on several occasions about my concerns uh, for parents who allow their children to decide whether or not they want to, you know, uh, change genders, whether they want to transition, you know, from uh, male or female at early ages. Now, I said that in my opinion, I don't think that children should be allowed to do that because children should not be allowed, in my opinion, to make life altering uh decisions when children don't even know what they want to eat for breakfast or dinner. You know what I'm saying? And so I also told you about puberty blockers and I played you a video of doctors talking about, you know, the effects and things like that, that they can have on young children. Uh, so I also have told you that I don't uh, like the fact that they allow 16 year old girls to get double breast mastectomies as long as they've been taking a yearly um, 
a daily dose of testosterone injections for at least a year. And they can do this absolutely without telling their parents anything. And the parents own insurance can pay for this, but they don't have to tell the parents. I don't agree with that. At the end of the day, the parents should have a say so and they should definitely be informed. You know, think about it like this. There are sometimes complications in surgery. Sometimes there's a loss of blood. You know, someone could start uh, having internal bleeding or anything, you know. And um, at the end of the day, what if someone's child dies on the operating table? And the parent had no knowledge that they were even having a surgery conducted. So I'm just saying I absolutely don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. Okay, so now let's talk about it because there's a story um, about an ex-trans team from California who says that they back the Florida ban on Medicaid funds for transgender medical interventions. And I'm going to share my screen so you all can listen uh, as she tells her story. Because this is really this is really troublesome for me. This is like really sad. Y'all know I always tell you how I just really, um, I really hate when people, you know, when things negatively impact the elders and young people. All right. I really have a soft spot for young people. And at the end of the day, when you allow children to make these uh, complicated decisions, when their frontal lobes are not even fully developed, uh, they have not developed, you know, critical thinking skills. Uh, they absolutely should not be making life altering permanent decisions. That's and, and here's the thing. It's also dangerous because these children sometimes grow up and they change their minds. Sometimes teenagers go through phases. They may feel like this this day and then a year from now they could feel different. And I also told you the story of a 12 year old who was allowed to take puberty blockers by the parents because he wanted to transition. So he thought. But then by the time he was 14, two years later, he didn't want to be a girl. He wanted to go back to being himself. But he had already started to go grow breast and things like that. So it's just not a good idea, in my opinion. Uh, so a California teen girl who once identified as transgender and took hormones and underwent surgery to affirm such an identity, spoke out in favor of a Florida rule blocking Medicaid funds from paying for medical interventions for gender dysphoria. Now, here's what Chloe had to say. Chloe is 17 years old, and I'm going to share my screen. I don't know if I'll be able to fully carry a child um, and I might be at increased risk for certain cancers, mainly cervical cancer. I don't know if I'll be able to fully carry a child um, and I might be at increased risk for certain cancers, mainly cervical cancer. And because I do not have my breasts, I, I no longer have breasts. I, I'm not able to breastfeed whatever future children I have. That realization actually was um, one of the biggest things that lead to me realizing that I this was not the path that I should have taken. Now that to me is very sad. Now she has no breast. She's concerned that even if she does have children in the future, she won't even be able to breastfeed them. She also says the doctors have told her that she's at risk for different types of cancers. And when I showed you all the video a year and a half ago about the same topic, uh, they said, you know, there were other um, consequences that they spoke about and um, as well as side effects and things like that from young people taking puberty blockers. So, you know, I just don't agree with it, but hey, that's me. You know, my um my sons are adults so i don't have to worry about things like that as far as uh kids and stuff like that but let me just let me just read this comment because who is this um let me see how i pronounce your name hold on hold on uh why knees i think it's why knees for she's for she's oh two says miss queen don't worry about Funking with black people, stay on the mission. Right. And then also said, you too fine to be cherry picking with Vicky. Let me tell you something, beloved. 
Uh, thank you for your kind words. Uh, I'll have to agree with you about that. But here's the thing. I'm not cherry picking, though. I'm not cherry picking, beloved. What I'm doing is I have to drop these receipts. You see, at the end of the day, as I said earlier on the prior broadcast, this is all about atonement. When you are sorry for things that you've done, when you want to right your wrongs, just like America, if they want to atone for slavery, the sin of slavery, which they call the original sin, they need to give us those checks. They need to quit playing. They need to stop gaslighting and deflecting. They need to give us those hashtag reparations. Okay? They have to be called out. But at the end of the day, beloved, I'm not cherry picking uh, with Miss Dillard. What I'm doing is uh, I'm just telling the truth and the facts. And, you know, at the end of the day, she doesn't leave it alone, so neither will I. I'm going to continue to speak up for myself. That's what I'm going to continue to do. Because here's the thing. Here is the thing, beloveds. You see, um, it has come to my attention. Now, I have to say these things to get the nefariousness of it all out so you all get a quite uh, a frank view of exactly what is going on. Let me say this also. Let me just say this real quick. You know, if Miss Dillard had just committed this fraud and scam and scheme years ago and left everything behind her and moved on forward, that's one thing. But she has not. She's still doing nefarious things. Any person who willfully and woefully posts someone else's personal information online is nefarious. Do you all remember a couple of years ago when Tyreek Nasheed, when somebody posted his tax information online? Do you all remember that and how he went in on them and so did I? And in fact, I actually called the person's job to get them fired because I heard him say he was going to call their job to get them fired. And I said, I'm going to call too. And I was going in on Yvette Cornell so hard on Twitter while he was going in on her that she blocked me. Breaking Brown, I think, was her Twitter name. I did a whole video about it, FBA versus autos. Okay, and I talked about all that stuff. Her friend Bakari, all right, was supposedly the one who posted Tyreek's information about his tax and all that stuff. So that was also shady. People like that need to be called out, just like I called her out, and it didn't have anything to do with me. That was Tyreek she did it to. She didn't know me. It had nothing to do with me, but I called it out because at the end of the day, people like that are dangerous. All right, when they play these games, they're very dangerous. And so I'm calling Wig out again because now Wig has taken it upon herself to start following my friends. Now she said, I'm obsessed with her. But who's obsessed with who? Because all I did for her to say I was obsessed was I merely commented on her post. And I didn't comment to her, I commented to her person who was on there, one of her subscribers. You know, and I told you all that. And here's the thing one of her friends. Now, somebody screenshot her Twitter page and came back and sent it to me where one of her people, some wench, I don't know the woman, I forget her name, I think it was Debbie Diddy or something like that. But she told Wig that she said that she was watching uh, someone's broadcast and that this person was asking for recommendations for something and that somebody put Phil's name, I guess she meant Phil Scott, and that someone put my name. Well, she didn't say my name. She said the person that was recently trolling you, talking about me. And so uh, she said that the person who asked for the recommendations glossed over my name and then said Vicky's name. Here's what I have to say about that. I wasn't trolling her page. I commented on it boldly. I went, here's what a troll does. A troll will use a fake account and comments and say nasty things. I didn't say anything nasty to Miss Dillard on her post. I didn't go under a fake account. It blatantly said, and y'all should know because she screenshot it. <laughs> it said the original Queen Amadai Shakur show. So clearly, I had nothing to hide. But that's not trolling. I voiced my opinion, and I have a right to do so. Honey, if you got something to repost on social media, anybody who wants to comment can do so, unless you block them. So I wasn't blocked, so I posted. Now, with that all being said, let me say this to all of you. My subscribers, y'all know I love you, and I know y'all love me. And I thank you for your support and loyalty. But here's what I want to tell all of you, beloveds. Do not, under any circumstances, recommend the queen for anything, okay, that anyone is asking for. If they say, oh, family, you let me know who you want to who you think I should get, don't recommend me because I don't fool with certain folk for my own reasons, all right? I don't fool with certain folk, and they don't fool with me for their own reasons. And so you 
you know, recommending me, they're not going to use me and I wouldn't be involved with their BS if they asked me to. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I'll say is this. I'm too busy. Anyway, I'm tied up. I clearly have projects that I'm working on with other people. Okay. Real revolutionaries. Yurima Karama. I'm working on something with him. Now you all remember Yurima Karama. I brought him on here. He talked about his land project that he's working on, right? And uh, he showed you all the receipts. He was, he's been very transparent. Any questions that you had, he, you know, had no problem answering them. He told you, brought the blueprint, showed you where everything was going to be, how it's going to be set up. Even told y'all, who those of you who asked in the, in the uh, chats, what was the water, where was the water supply going to come from? He told you all of that. Everything is eloquently and adequately put together and he has given you full transparency you can ask him anything you want to ask him about it and he's not going to gaslight deflect or tell you it's none of your business get smart get get upset or tell you that you're babbling he'll answer any questions you have and so i'm working on him with some things you know um and also there's some other people that i'm working on projects with so you don't have to recommend the queen beloveds because the queen has people that i choose to work with and at the end of the day, if someone wanted um, me to work with them, they would come and ask me. All right. That's what they would do. They would just come and ask me. So please, I just want you all to know that. But now let me continue. So Wig has taken it upon herself, as I said. Um, a friend of mine that I spoke to last night, you all know this person because I've had them on my show numerous of times. Good friend of mine, Gavin Esquire. You all know Gavin Richard. Esquire, my attorney friend that I've had on my show numerous of times. Well, all of a sudden, Wig is following him on Twitter. Now, I don't know what Wig is up to, but clearly something nefarious. Um, because you see, she's obsessed with me. She deflected and projected her own BS when she said I was obsessed with her, honey. I'm not obsessed with you, that could be. She doesn't have anything I want. And so, with that all being said, it all, and I know that she's um you know, one of those people who stalks people online. That's what she does. Because if you remember, and I know y'all saw Michi X's broadcast a little while ago today, and Michi was also talking about how she reached out to Tony the Closer. She kept trying to get his attention. Wig was. And then Wig started buying clothing from Tony the Closer's girlfriend. Now, she knows that this woman is Tony the Closer's girlfriend, and she knows that Tony the Closer's friends with Michi. Why is she trying to get close to this woman? Because she's a stalker. That's what she is. I said it. File a lawsuit, wig if you're mad. But now she's taking it, she's commenced to following my good friend. What for? What are you up to, nefarious? Or does she think that she's going to find something out about the queen? Well, keep looking. See where it gets you. I see where the trail of breadcrumbs leads to, wig. Um, hopefully to a wig with human hair for you to wear, rather than the synthetic mess that you'd use now. But also, let me just say this as well. I had a moderator that I got rid of about eight or nine months ago. Her name is Naturally Tora H. Uh, she was one of my moderators. And I got rid of her because she was showing, exhibiting some strange behavior. Okay? She was exhibiting strange behavior. And I'll tell you all why I got rid of her. Naturally Tora H was my moderator, but on occasion... People came and told me that she was in Wig's chat. Now, my moderators know they're in the chat now and they can vouch and tell you. I've never told my moderators not to watch Wig or anyone else. They're adults. They can watch whomever they choose. But what I don't want you to do, if you're my moderator, is to be in the chat of someone who has been stabbing me in the back, who's been throwing subliminal jabs, and who has sent people to infiltrate my chat. I told you all there was a girl by the name of KK that I allowed to be a moderator and then come to find out she infiltrated my chat and I was told that she did so for a week. They also told you how the lady called me with a fake story saying that she gave it to me and Vicky and she wanted me to hurry up and try to get on it. It was all bogus. If I had done that story, I would have made a complete fool of myself and I would have lost all credibility because the story was a sham. But you see, I'm not that stupid. You see, Wig loves to play checkers. The queen plays chess. Okay? And so this person who tried to give me that foolish story thought I was going to be so thirsty that I'm going to take it for clout and try to get clicks and views and go and hop on it. No, that's not what I do. I'm the queen of receipts for a reason. Because, you see, I verify everything before I speak on it. 
And since she couldn't produce the receipts, I told her, I'm not doing this story. Now you can go and let Vicky do it if you want to, like you said you were thinking, but I'm not doing it. And then, and then I find out, uh, well, I'm not gonna say I found out, but I was told by a very reliable source that Vicky sent that woman to send me that fake story to destroy my credibility and to make me look like a whole fool. But that's not gonna happen. She can't make me look like a fool, period. Now, she only can make herself look like one, which she continues to do. The longer she keeps going in and doing stuff to me, I'm going to keep exposing her because I got more receipts and I'm about to drop them. So get ready. But let me say this also. What I was saying about naturally to her age, the reason I brought her up is because, like I said, I fired her about eight or nine months ago because uh, I saw her in wigs chat. People told me they sent me the screenshots. She was in wigs chat. Now, once I fired her i found out from angel love recently uh, that about eight or nine months ago possibly back in october i believe it was wig got a uh, got naturally to her h my ex moderator to be her campaign manager y'all remember when she was putting up talking about putting up billboards and people passing out flyers and all that stuff and she asked naturally to her h to be the person that was like her one of her campaign managers or something like that and angel said she'd asked uh, wig at the time why she picked this person because she'd never even known about this person uh, Angel hadn't and she said wig told her oh she was in my webinar and she was very you know wanted to reach out and do some work or whatever okay so it didn't really make sense to Angel because she'd never seen this person even really posting wig stuff you know or anything like that but so she said once I told her that that person used to be my moderator Angel Love said oh so now it all makes sense Okay, so I'm just saying all of that. Let me just tell y'all something. Yes, this is so sick, Mr. Hotel. Absolutely. And it's even more sick that she was telling her subscribers that they have to choose between us, that they can't watch my channel. That's sick within itself. And it's also hating. Okay, so all of the fools who continue to follow her and sit there and talk trash about the queen, honey, I don't really care what you say, but just know you a whole fool. You can miss me with it. I drop receipts. Wig hasn't dropped one. All Wig is doing is gaslighting and deflecting, talking about she got all these receipts and ain't showed one. If you got plenty of receipts, drop one. That's what I want you to do. I challenge you to file a defamation lawsuit against me. You're not going to file no lawsuit against nobody because everything everybody said about you is all true. Please miss me with it. She didn't even file a lawsuit against that man who put out that bogus story that I think that she told him to do about her molesting her kids and going with Dr. Boyce and all that crap. She didn't even file a defamation lawsuit against him. And I believe she absolutely did because she told him to do it. So she could get up there and cry crocodile tears and try to make people feel sorry for her. She's such a clout chaser. Yeah, I said it. So at the end of the day, she's also a narcissist. Now we're going to get to that in a minute. But before I get into that, let me say this. Also, Angel Love brought it to my attention today that a guy by the name of Warren Muhammad, one of Vicky's henchmen, in fact, he's the one who coined the name The Keepers for the Men. He's clearly Vicky's lap dog, Warren Muhammad. I'm talking to you. If I find out when I have those receipts subpoenaed that you flagged my channel, as I've been told, I'm let me just be quiet. I'm not going to get into that. But I'll say this. Warren Muhammad, uh, according to Angel Love, is following one of her close friends. Now, why is he doing that? When he clearly doesn't like Angel, if y'all saw the nasty, hateful stuff he was saying on Angel's pages on Twitter, and I know that he had no business doing that because that's clearly against his own protocols. That's against his protocols. And you know what I'm talking about, Warren Mohammed. You know what protocols I'm talking about. Okay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to say it. You know, and I know you listening because you uh, are Vicky's little informant. And then another thing I want y'all to pay attention to, on that day when uh, when Vicky did that, that video trying to make herself the victim and saying that it's not her job to show receipts, that's what you all are supposed to do. Why is it you all's job? Y'all don't have anything to do with it. But I noticed that she said in the video, y'all need to call out people with snitch behavior. Y'all need to call out people with snitch behavior. So she's calling me a snitch because I'm dropping receipts. But here's what I want y'all to pay attention to. If she's calling me a snitch, if she's trying to imply that I'm snitching on her, isn't she in fact letting y'all know she's a whole criminal? Isn't she letting y'all know she's a whole criminal? Because you can't be a snitch, right? Unless you're telling on a criminal. She said snitch behavior. See, that's that fed talk. That's that fed talk for the felonious capers that she pulled. 
So she said snitch behavior. So Wig just admitted she's still a criminal. That's what she said, not me. She said snitch behavior. I'm just saying. Make it all make sense. But so since you want to keep playing games, trying to stalk me by having people stalk my friends or her stalking my friend, getting on my friend's uh, pages and following them and all that, I don't know what she's looking for, whether she's trying to gather intel or receipts, honey, gather them. Because I promise you won't find anything, honey. And you darn sure won't find me fraudulently conning, scamming, or doing anything low down, dirty, and nefarious to my own people. That's what she'll never find, baby. So keep looking and see where it leads you. Back to your old low down dirty self. That's where. So let me drop these receipts. Because she won't stop, so I ain't going to stop. Because like me just said, I just looked at my watch. I got time today. Periods. All right. Here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, so you all may remember when Wig has numerous of times said that she was a whole activist, political activist, and all that. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about it. Receipt, receipts always speak for themselves. Now, I'm going to share my screen so y'all can see this. And I want you all to remember, before I get into this, I want you to remember, beloveds, that when I did that video with Angel Love, that interview, I told you all that when Wig was protesting against Wells Fargo, she actually did do that. But she was also under federal investigation at the time she did it. And at, at the same time, also, her house was getting foreclosed on. So was she for, was she fighting the fight for black folk or for herself? You be the judge. But now let me drop these bombs over Baghdad. Because I told y'all I got plenty in the chamber, baby. Don't play with me. You got the right one, baby, just like Ray Charles said. Let's get into it. Here it is right here. And I want y'all to read this. Vicki Dillard of Denver joins the Colorado Progressive coalition members now let me say that again vicky dillard of denver joins she wasn't leading no protest i'm gonna show you who was leading it she wasn't leading no protest she wasn't all no political activist political prison all of that please don't try to liken yourself to the likes of asada shakur Fini shakur matulu shakur any of those people a luke bullet shakur any of those people queen amadaya shakur don't even try to liken yourself to us Okay, Vicki Dillard of Denver joins the Colorado Progressive Coalition members and Occupy Denver protesters as they run into locked doors at the Wells Fargo Bank at 17th and Broadway in downtown Denver. Now, the groups occupy the sidewalk in front of the Wells Fargo. Um, so that's what they say about her. And you can see her there with a little bullhorn looking like Tamika Mallory 2.0. Now, I'm going to show y'all who the real people were that was out there protesting. Cause it wasn't Miss Dillard. She just joined them. They were doing the work. Where do you see who it was? Here we go. Because at the end of the day, 
wait, please stop. Just stop. Your lie, your sham, your con game is over. I've ended that for you. It's no more. It's a wrap. Now, right? It's a wrap. Now, let's get into this because here's another thing, beloved. I'm going to share my screen. Y'all are going to love this. For those of you who follow the queen on my spiritual channel, let me just plug myself real quick. Queen Amadai TV, more than meets the third eye. Those of you who follow me on my spiritual channel, you know, or you may recall that about 11 months ago, I did a video about narcissists. In fact, it was a two-part video, narcissists, uh, different types of narcissists, part one and part two. Now, Vicki Dillard is three types of narcissists, and I'm going to tell you which one she is, and I'm going to show you the, the receipts. She's a classic narcissist. She's a seductive narcissist. And she's a covert narcissist. So let's get into it. I'm going to share a clip from my own video, the footage from my own video to prove my points. The likes up, everyone, please like and share. Thank you in advance, beloveds. Here we go. Uh, Fight for Black said, I saw both Queen. Great broadcast. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. With narcissistic personality disorder often often has delusions that he or she possesses some great quality that others cannot obtain or even begin to understand i mean they think they are so fabulous Bezos says queen you hitting on something there <laughs> thank you creatively uh design says the ones i know as well thank you i told you these virgos they're a hot mess many of them now so they fantasize about a famous person being secretly in love with them. This is some of the things they'll do. And then when someone calls the narcissist attention to the fact that these feelings are fantasy only, they become very offended and play the victim. Oh, you're just a hater, they'll say. <laughs> you're just mad. That's the narcissist. Now, the belief that people that own... Let me stop right there. Isn't that what Wig always says, that she got haters, that people just mad? Honey, ain't nobody mad about you. But that's what she always says. That's what a narcissist will say. You know why a narcissist will say that? Because they can't produce receipts to dispel anything that the person has said about them that's absolutely true. She can't dispel anything that I've said. I've shown all the receipts. Anybody but a fool, anybody who doesn't believe it by now or wants to, to dispute it or dis, uh, you know, yeah, dispute it, they're just a whole fool. The receipts speak for themselves. All right. So let me continue. And this is absolutely going to describe Wig, Vicki Diller. You all pay attention. Only people who have the same superior traits can understand them. That's what they think. So pay attention. Haughty or arrogant attitudes or behaviors. These behaviors are much more than someone acting in a snobby manner. A narcissist truly believes that he or she is better than others and often take offense when others try to communicate with them as an equal. Like you are not on my level. Bow down. This is how they feel. Now, let me stop right there. I want y'all to pay attention because Angel Love told me that when she was talking to Wig at one point, she asked Wig a question and Wig told her, you know not to question me. That's a narcissist. Like, how dare you question me? Okay? So I'm just saying. And there was another time also Wig doesn't like to be corrected. You all may have noticed that. Okay, now you all, some of you have corrected me a couple of times if I misspoke, just like the other video I was doing last week. Y'all remember when I was doing the video about CERN and I kept calling the word colander? That's because I had colander on my mind. The word is collider. And someone in the chat said, Queen, it's pronounced collider. I don't have any problem when someone corrects me. I want you to correct me. Don't make me sit up here and look like a fool. I appreciate the correction. Um, so anyway, with that all being said, Wig doesn't like to be corrected because in fact, Someone came to me, one of her own subscribers, and this was months ago, said that she was acting like white supremacy. And I said, why do you say that? They said because they were on her Instagram and she was live on there or whatever, and she said something wrong. She made an error when she was speaking and someone else tried to correct her and she went off on them and told them, you'll be better off. You don't correct me. You'll be better off uh, being with me than against me. And then she blocked the person. That's what I was told by one of her own subscribers. But let me continue. Absolutely, it's all true. Now, those are just a few of the traits, but if they have at least five of these, pay attention. And the main one they'll have is a grandiose sense of self-importance and entitlement. Pay attention. 
Types of narcissists. Well, there are several characteristics of narcissism that may be seen in any of the types of narcissistic personalities. Narcissists are generally labeled by the most common characteristic that they display. You have the classic narcissist. Now, the classic narcissist tends to thrive on the admiration and praise of others. They generally believe they are more special or more vulnerable than other people and crave being the center of attention. They're clearly attention whores. People pay attention. This sounds like Trump. Someone put his name in the chat. Absolutely, I agree. Okay. They don't mind using other people for anything that fits into their goal or agenda and become offended easily if others try to deny them anything they think they deserve. Absolutely, it's all true. It's all true. Seductive narcissist. Now, as the name suggests, a seductive narcissist does whatever they can, whatever they can do to make you feel good about yourself. Huh. At least at first, in the beginning, that's absolutely what they do. They may appear to admire you and may even idolize you. But their main goal is to make you feel that way about them. So you can be used to use to further their agenda. A seductive narcissist generally wants your admiration and will flatter you to get what they want. So in other words, they tell you anything and everything that you want to hear. Terry says, these folks are hard to deal with. I cannot, with, I can't with narcissists. Absolutely. Davida says, Obama is a Virgo. That figures. Beatzilla says, Cardi B. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, so with that all being said, a seductive narcissist generally wants your admiration and will flatter you to get what they want. Don't be fooled, though. When a seductive narcissist no longer needs you to compliment or stroke their ego, they may leave you and move on to a new target because they don't have time for your BS any longer now that they've used you up. I'm sorry, but isn't that what wig did to Angel Love? Pay attention, honey. Tell me this ain't wig all over. This don't have Vicky Dillard written all over it, honey. Isn't that what she did to Angel? She used Angel up, flattered her, was all nice and sweet and everything, told her what she wanted to hear, and as soon as she got everything she wanted out of her and had no more use for it, she just tossed her to the side and discarded her like yesterday's trash. Isn't that so? Pay attention. But there's more. <laughs> The covert narcissist. This is the one that myself and my friend were talking about. When you think of a covert narcissist, think of a covert or secret military. Let me pause right here. Now, the reason me and my friend were talking about this type of narcissist, because we were talking about weed. This was months ago. But let me continue. The operation. It is planned, calculated, and generally comes as a surprise. They catch you off balance, basically. And you know, the element of surprise is one of the best ways to get over on a person. This is exactly how a covert narcissist acts. Covert narcissists often use guilt tripping and emotional manipulation to get what they want. They usually belittle the partners, their partners, and deprive them of physical or emotional needs until they get what they want. Let's stop right there, because that too is Vicki Diller. On that video she did days ago, she was going in on her own subscribers. She was going in saying, what I look like. Y'all the ones supposed to call out snitch behavior. Y'all the ones need to go find and do the bring up the information. Talk about receipts or whatever. Now, she was trying to run a whole guilt trip on them. And also, if you remember, Michi X just talked about it today. When Michi said that she got, uh, we got upset because uh, Kwame Brown mentioned mentioned Michi in his broadcast and not Wig. Now, Wig had been talking about him or whatever, you know, saying some nice things, big up in him or whatever, and she was so butthurt that he didn't say nothing about, nothing for uh, about her. And then also, if you recall, when she had when she had um, done a video about the guy who said all those lies about her, those were clearly lies. We all knew that she don't have any kids, right? She's barren, so she didn't have any kids, but they were. he was lying, saying she molested her kids and all that crazy stuff or whatever. That was all BS. But when she did the live about that, she was going in on people who didn't speak up for her, trying to make them feel guilty. Since none of my sisters, uh, since none of my, uh, my fellow sisters, or uh, uh, none of the men that I speak up for, since they won't speak up for me, I'm going to speak up for myself. Trying to act like with the fake tears, cropping out tears, and trying to make people feel guilty because they didn't speak up for her. You're a grown woman. You're 40-something years old. Speak up for yourself. 
If somebody does or says something to me that I don't like or I know that's not true, I'm going to speak up for myself. I don't sit around and wait for someone else to do it. I don't need my subscribers to fight my battles. I fight them myself, as I should do. All right? So let me continue. And then pay attention also with this uh, covert narcissist. They do things not only the guilt tripping, but they do things covertly. She covertly had Angel Love attacking Michi X's channel and anyone who was affiliated with Michi flagging the channels and all of that. She also has Warren Muhammad uh, doing other nefarious things, according to Angel. All right. So with that all being said, she does covert acts. Yes, absolutely. She sends people out there just like she's now covertly following my friend. What are you following my friend for? I know she's seen Gavin on my channel doing videos with me. I know she has because Angel already let us know that she screenshots my chat and all that. So we couldn't know she watches my videos and you know she watches them further because when Angel said she saw me at Tariq Nasheed's buck breaking uh, premiere, that she took a video of me, sent it to Wig and asked, is this the queen that you're talking about? So yes, she knew that she was talking about me and she was also watching my video. So please. Okay, so she's covert, absolutely. She uses military precision and she's strategic how she calculates and does things. Well, she's, she thinks she's so smart and she is smart to a point, you know, but she likes to play these little mind games and all that stuff. But the thing is, she's playing checkers. And like I said, I'm always playing chess and I'm a whole lot smarter than we could ever be, okay? I'm a whole lot smarter, intellectual, educated and all of that more well-spoken and all of that. I don't have to scream and shout, bang gavels, toss my hair. I don't have to put on a whole gimmick in a show. She's entertainment, okay? She's a Saturday Night Live activist. She's a joke, in other words. But let me continue. Now, when the covert narcissist does not, or they do get what they want, they will then show affection and even buy gifts to gain more control over this person. They are very good at masking manipulative behavior so that it is not detected by others. They come across as charming and use that charm to seduce and manipulate others. Now, I'm going to stop right there because I think I've proven my point. And that's absolutely what she does. That's why some of her followers, even though they've seen the receipts and they've seen the proof of the facts, they don't want to accept it because they suffer from cognitive dissonance and likely Maybe Wig and her little occultist have put spells on them. You know, like they put spells on coffee. Pay attention. And so with that all being said, I have yet another thing I want to drop. So you may also remember, let me pull up that video that I did with Angel Love. Because I want you all to hear this again, for those of you who may have forgotten. Now, the other day when I did the interview with Angel Love, I played played some excerpts from Wig's uh, last webinar, June 26th, and she talked about water and charging the water and all that. So I'm going to play that for you again because I want you to pay attention to why I likened her to Reverend Peter Popoff. I'm going to show you my receipts. You see, I've heard Wig on numerous occasions tell her subscribers, you need to invest in yourself. I don't like cheap. I'm allergic to cheap. Just the fact that she says things like that should let you know she's all about money. And that picture of her in the thumbnail sitting there with all the money up in the air like she's balling out of control, that should let you know she's all about money. Okay, so pay, pay attention. Now, and the fact that she's charging you, I want y'all to really get a load of this. Pay attention. If she actually could, which she can't, but if she actually could, activate dna why would she charge us to if the most high gave me some downloads to where i was enabled to activate all of our dna codes baby i don't need no money from y'all because after i activate all my black people's dna codes we're gonna be superheroes we're not gonna need to sit up here and beg for biscuits we're not gonna need to sit up here and try to swindle hustle and none of that stuff all right so I would not be charging you all, you know, to <laughs> the comments is what I'm laughing at. Okay, yes, Broken Silence, she is a charlatan, absolutely, I said it. 
But I, what I would not be doing is charging black people to activate your DNA. All right. That's what I wouldn't do, especially if the most High gave me the power to do so. Do you think the most High would want me charging you for it? Absolutely not. OK, she ain't activated nobody's DNA, not even her own, honey. Please stop falling for the banana and the tail fight the ass. So all it is. Now, let's get to this water that she talked about. Then I want you to hear what Peter Popoff says about his spring water. And tell me that it's not the same thing going down. OK, a whole con game, as far as I'm concerned. Please, I'm waiting for her to file these lawsuits because I would love to see her in court. All right. So I can make a fool out of her there, too, because I've already made a fool of her on YouTube. And she knows it and everybody knows. It. And those who don't want to don't want to admit it, they secretly know it, trust and believe. She's a whole fool right about now. All right. Let me share my screen. Uh, Miss Classy said those cheap thrift clothes she wears. OK, but talk about she's allergic to cheap. that you do over coffee before you drink it. And I, I do those mantras over the coffee grains while they're being grinded up. And that's why it tastes so good because of the energy put into it. So yeah, yeah. it is. And I will be sharing some of those rituals okay. because I am about the people. I like to give this information to the people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what do I give them? Do I give them... Because I know the world has your phone number. <laughs> but what do I give them? Do I give them a time frame later? Or everybody that's here, um, and even though there's some that's not here that's going to watch the replay, yeah, they pay for it and they watch the replay later. Do I send out an email to the people? Once you drop your next thing, you'll let me know when you drop your yes. next copy and I can let them know? Indeed, absolutely. We can definitely do it that way. You send okay, out fam. Okay. I'll do it on deck for them. Okay, so family, y'all hear that? Because I know y'all going to be trying to hit me up late after the webinar. I ain't playing with y'all. So after this, when he drops the next coffee, so we're giving you practical things that you can incorporate. Notice he said he plays over the coffee. Brother Terrain, that's one of the connections I was going to tell them with some of the sacredness of when people pray over their food and even over their water. I wasn't going to tell you this, but your, your own sound, I utilize your own sound in front of a speaker and... I charge my water and I put the I put the I put the, the uh, water in front of it and I let that own just penetrate it and y'all let me tell you something real real quick real quick real quick these are practical things oh my god they're going crazy thank you Tarain I recently started drinking again because it was so demonizing the best okay, there you go. I got so so I think y'all heard enough. She said that she puts the own energy and she puts your sounds and all of that into the water, right? So she's clearly Peter Popoff. Let me just go to a 2.0 female version. Let me show y'all what Peter Popoff, what they had to say about him. So there was a whole article about Peter Popoff and his uh, spring water. Well, I'm going to save that for last. Let's just go to this video real quick about Peter Popoff with his little advertisement all about this water so y'all can see how foolish it all sounds. And anybody listening to this kind of BS is clearly crazy and they need mental psychiatric help as far as concerned. Was the prime... No. Mm. Mm. Glory to God, he's bringing their blood pressure down right now. Glory to God, something's breaking loose in her... Glory to God! There it is. Look, look, look at that. Woo! I'll tell you, she's got energy now. Woo! I'll tell you, God shocked her. <laughs> okay, come over here. Man, I better move out of the way. Woo! <laughs> How long has it been since you ran like that? Years. Years! Well, I'll tell you, get ready, because you're going to get up and go. Uh, you're going to get this up and fantastic. go for Jesus. He called, his wife called and got the Miracle Spring Water for him. He had excruciating back pain, or leg pain. He had excruciating leg pain. Very bad. So bad he was in tears. He followed the instructions of the Miracle Spring Water and has had no leg, his, he's off the medication and has had no, doesn't need surgery and has a no leg pain since. Pastor, no. this sister called and got the Miracle Spring Water after watching you on television. Okay, I think y'all seen enough, honey. Now, now let me just continue, honey, because I cannot. And so 
Now, here's the thing. I want y'all to pay attention. Clearly, Wig has been modeling herself off of Peter Popoff. I told y'all this long ago. Honey, over a year ago, I started calling her Peter Popoff. So, first of all, she had testimonials posted on her uh, YouTube community, right? And according to Michi, because I didn't even notice till I watched Michi's video today, honey. Um, Michi said she was told, and I think Angel probably told Michi this. I, I haven't talked to Angel yet, so I don't know, but I haven't talked to Michi either. But I saw Michi's video today, and Michi said that she was told that uh, those testimonials that, that Wig was posting, those people told her to stop putting their names in those testimonials because she had not changed their lives. Oops. Uh, okay? She had not changed their lives. Meanwhile, numerous of my subscribers have told me that I've changed their lives. Okay, I have the receipts to prove it. I have the emails that you all have absolutely sent me. I didn't post them on the YouTube community, but I clearly have them. And you all have sent me, you know, telling me that I've helped you in all these things. And I really appreciate that. But here's the thing. <laughs> I did it all for free. I didn't charge you $144. Pay attention. All right. So I'm just saying, honey, who's helping who? But anyway, let's talk about this Peter Popoff debacle because there was a whole article about him and his fake spring water. You know, some of these people are nothing more than snake oil salesmen. That's what Wig is. Wig's a snake oil salesman. Honey, she's a slick con artist. So she's been one since prison and she still is one today. She's just doing it the legit way. You see, what she's doing now isn't illegal because people are voluntarily giving her this money. But they are fooled because they just are not using critical thinking skills, I would say. And some of them are captivated uh, by the way she presents herself. It's entertaining to me, but nothing about her says intellectual or, um, you know, a scholar or a spiritual guru to me. It just doesn't. Now, she is intellectual in some aspects, but in many, she's not. She's clearly no guru. Pay attention. Now, okay, so here's what it says. It says, if you've watched any television in the last, oh, 30-something years, you've probably glimpsed Peter Popoff on your screen. Now, a popular televangelist in the 1980s, Popoff can now be seen on commercials touting this miracle spring water, no less. So in one recent ad, uh, one recent ad real people with real needs claim to have received checks totaling as much as $45,000 after sending for the water without any indication of where the checks came from. Uh, so they said they didn't even know where the checks came from. They just got checks in the mail. Now, that all sounds so foolish. And they say these gifts are said to be miracles. You know, Vicky says that she conducts miracles. She calls them signs and wonders. So who is she? Jesus? Now, let me continue. Uh, how can someone receive a check as a miracle? Checks can be drawn on an account belonging to someone. Yet Popoff seems to ignore this basic accounting truth. Uh, this faith tool, that is the Miracle Spring Water, which according to GQ is Poland Spring with a splash of holy water. Uh, it's supposed to help you see liberation from the bondage of death. All right. It's free. I want to send it to you. No obligation. Call me now. That's what he says. All right. I'm going to tell y'all like this. Vicky gives me Miss Cleo vibes. Call me now for your free reading and all that kind of crap. I sit here telling all these lies and BS. Honey, she ain't changing nobody's lives. She ain't activating no DNA. And her doing chats and whatever over this water and talking about she's putting people's sounds and energy in it. Honey, please sit down somewhere. Now, within a couple of weeks after the water arrived in the mail, along with a long letter from Peter Popoff in which he prophesied, uh, that a sudden release of money somewhere, $1,900 or $19,000 was headed your way. All we had to do was use the water as directed in one other small thing. Send exactly $19 to Peter Popoff. Ain't that something? Say what now? Uh, send him $19. Now I want y'all to pay attention because if a thousand fools fall for his BS and send him $19, uh, how much money do you think he's going to make it? I'm using thousand. That's way low. That's way lower than what people are initially sending. But I just want y'all to pay attention to that. Okay. See, these people prey upon church folk because you see, there's a need by many church people to believe in something. They want to belong to something. They need somebody to give them, you know, encouragement, uh, to fill some type of void very often and someone to look up to. And so these people like Peter Popoff and Vicky, they know how to do this. You see, 
they know how to say the right things that people want to hear and present themselves as prophets. Now, I want y'all to I want y'all to think about this for a second. You see, Vicky was going around Denver, Colorado, telling people that she was a prophetess. That's what she labeled herself as. It's all on the internet. You can see. So she's a prophetess, right? So if she's a prophetess, she didn't know she was going to get hit with 16 charges by the feds and serve time. If she was a prophetess, I want y'all to pay attention. She owes two and a half or she owed, I don't know how much she's paid down on her restitution, but she owed two and a half million dollars in restitution. Now, if she was a prophetess, she would have known to take that money that she was scamming on and put it aside so she could pay off that restitution. Or she would have known uh, that she was going to get caught for the mortgage fraud. Or she would have known that she was going to go in debt and not be able to keep up the payments on those properties that she purchased fraudulently. And so therefore, she may not have spent that money so foolishly if she was a prophetess, as she claims. She's no prophetess. She's a charlatan. She's a liar. She's a snake oil salesman. She's a Peter Popoff in a wig. That's all she is, all right? And so with that all being said, if anybody thinks the queen is jealous of her, you are a fool. Because you see, I don't have to come on here and be fake and fraud. And for those of you saying that she has changed, some of y'all say, oh, well, Vicky changed. She used to be this. She used to be that. She didn't change, beloveds. She did not change. She merely is now showing her true colors. You see, the facade that she's kept up for all this time is now crumbling down. And you're starting to see who she really is. This is who she's always been. She has not changed. It's just that her true self is shining through. My grandmother always told us, and I've told you this before, that you can put on a facade and you can fake it for so long, right? You can send your representative to meet and greet people, but one day, sooner or later, the real you is going to show up, and that is what you're seeing, all right? That's all you're seeing right now, honey. It's no fraud. It's no fact that she's changed. She's just been a whole fraud. Now, so they go on to say uh, that we could have written this off when Peter Popoff sent them this miracle water, right? Uh, and told them to send the $19 right back to him and all that. And so they go on to say, hold on, let me make sure I'm in my right place. I don't leave anything out. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Okay. So he said, send exactly $19. Another thing, like I said, um, I don't know if I already said this, but let me just reiterate if I did. Another thing that she got from Peter Popoff is when she tells her subscribers to sow a seed. Invest in yourself. Sow a seed. Peter Popoff says those same things. If you go back and watch his infomercials, he said numerous of times he needs you to sow a seed. And I believe specifically once he asked for $253, sow a seed. He's telling you to sow a seed so that you can get your blessings. The last time I checked, the Most High doesn't charge for blessings. Blessings come free when you do the work, when you're working at the behest of the Most High and you're doing the things that you need to do. Blessings come for free. Nobody has to pay for a blessing, all right? Not with cash. Okay, you pay for it with your spirituality. You pay for it by doing kind gestures. You pay for it by doing the work of the most high. You pay for it with the kindness you show to others. You pay for it with empathy and sympathy that you show to others. You pay for it when you show atonement for your sins. That's how you pay for blessings. Honey, you don't have to pay with it monetarily and give people cash for your blessings. All right, but let me continue. Uh, so they go on to say, because one is the number of the father. This is what Peter Popoff said. One is the number of the father and nine is the number of new birth. Sure, why not? So we sent $19. And I want you to pay attention because this, this right here, the number 19, very significant in numerology. Okay. And so they use these numbers for reasons, like I told you, when Vicky was charging $144 for her webinars, I told you, she likely used that number because it's very significant. It's throughout the Bible. They talk about the 144,000 that will reign in heaven as kings and priests, okay? The 12 people from the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? 12 times 12 is 144. So that's why she used that number, I believe. I could not substantiate that because I don't know what was going on in her fragile little brain, but I believe that's why she chose that number. Because this is what devils do. But let me continue. And they do this to, 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 to try to uh, validate themselves. And they also use the words of the good book, the scripture, to make it all seem so legit. But I want you to remember that even the devil can masquerade as an angel of light. 
Another thing Wig has talked about that she's had angels. She said that in the audio I played for you all on that other video with Angel Love. She said something about she's seen angels or she talked to angels or something like that. And she sells those angel calendars with black people with wings and all that stuff, which look like demons if you ask me. But at the end of the day, what I want you to realize, beloveds, angels don't have wings in real life. That's a myth created by the uh the other folk with that all being said angels are really your ancestors and last i checked our ancestors don't have wings nor do they need them okay because we are stardust we came from the universe we are the gods of the universe that's why the universe is made of melanin as are we so angels don't have wings and when she's talking about she's seen angels and all that's just all malarkey bs and lies okay your ancestors are what they call angels okay but the devils didn't want us to know this about our ancestors so they made them white folk with white wings and all of that uh, so let me continue and so goes on to say they sent peter pop off the 19 dollars that he begged for no less and they say about a month later, we received a response from Papa thanking us for the $19 seed gift. So a seed, same thing with uh, Vicky says, uh, which we were assured would soon bring us a bountiful harvest of great blessings. Papa said to let him know as soon as that happens. Well, it's been more than five months since we initially set sent for the Miracle Spring Water and we're still waiting for our check. <laughs> That's what they say. As Vicky's uh, people are still waiting for their lives to change for the better. Now, I told you, I talked to several of her people who attended those webinars, honey, and they told me that their lives changed for the worse. And they believed that it was because of the demonic energy that was raised when her and uh, Terrain did those incantations. That's what they said. I can't substantiate it because I wasn't there. But that's what I was told by several of the people who attended her webinars. But let me continue. And, as, and I also told you that some of those people asked me to pray over them okay and an effort to get rid of the wicked nefarious energy malevolent spirits and things that likely attached to them from going to that webinar but let me go on uh, so they say it's been five months and they're still waiting for their check in the meantime we've accumulated many additional requests from pop off for varying amounts of money which may help to explain how he's able to afford a multi-million dollar home according to gq here are a few of the additional appeals of cat for cash we received from pop off each from a different letter here's what they say now i'm gonna show this on the screen honey y'all need to see this foolishness y'all need to see this foolishness and i don't see how anybody that's a grown adult with common common sense and critical thinking skills could fall for this what wig needs to be selling is common sense because any of her subscribers falling for her bs thus far and still falling for it they clearly don't have any so she needs to sell them some common sense okay that's what she needs to do pray over that wig pray over the common sense and then give it to your subscribers honey so they know better because when you know better, you do better. And I'm not saying all of her subscribers are crazy or they, they're not, don't have common sense. Because many of them do. That's why they left. And that's why they no longer fall for her BS. The ones that are sitting there caping for her after all these receipts have been dropped. The ones that are sitting there trying to go in on people. Like I saw somebody sent me a screenshot of some dude. I can't remember his name. But they sent me a screenshot of the guy saying, anybody who says Vicky Dillard's name with disrespect, automatic red flag. Honey, the automatic red flag should be when she told you she could charge water. Honey, the automatic red flag should be when you heard that she had to rain hit sitting there talking about some coffee that came from volcanoes and had spirits attached to it. And if you drink more than three, uh, three cups a day, it's going to be a bad omen, honey. That should have been your red flag, fool. But let me continue. This is what Peter Popoff said. Obey God in sowing a seed of $27. If you can, if you have to borrow it or let something go for a few days, do it. I see a new endeavor that will bring magnificent rewards in three months from the day you obey God in this. Now, let me just tell y'all something. Let me stop right there. Y'all know that Wig does the same thing. Those into the webinars. Y'all know the same thing. She told y'all to do those incantations at that money in the womb, secret money in the womb. She told y'all to do those incantations for 30 days. That's what I've been told by several of her subscribers at uh, Foolish Webinar. They said they were told to do the incantations for 30 days and everything's going to change. And then y'all heard yourself when she's talking about that coffee with Terrain Hicks, the occultist, uh, 
They asked how many days? And he said 21 days. So I'm telling you, this ain't Peter Popoff. Uh, they're not doing the same con game, the same damn fraud, scam as Peter Popoff. Let me continue. I think I'm proving my points yet again. Uh, step four, Psalm 34, 19. I told y'all the devil's always missing the scripture so it sounds more believable uh, to the feeble-minded. Psalm 34, 19 is the key to unlocking your marriage. Open your checkbook and write it. The amount of $34.19 and write my miracle seed in the memo. If you want to sow a seed for a loved one, check for $34.19 and write miracle seed for a loved one in the memo. If you send an additional check, I will prophetically seek the Lord on their behalf as well as yours. So you mean to tell me y'all need somebody else to seek the Lord on your behalf? You can't do it for yourself? Let me continue. Doesn't this all sound familiar? All of those who attended Wigs webinars? I'm sure it does. Uh, he says, I feel led of God as his prophet of prosperity to ask you in Jesus' name to sow us the number eight in it. And the seed God sold me is $28. Don't let Satan talk you out of sowing this $28 seed of new beginnings. Say what now? Don't let Satan talk you out of it, honey. Satan is the one telling you to send to pay attention, okay? Peter Popoff and Wig are both devils in the third degree. Try and write back within 24 hours. There are further prophetic instructions I must share with you when I receive your worthy portion. Uh, your offering of 33 and 33, very significant in numerology. We already know the 33 degrees of masonry and all that. And your prayer page back this week. As God's profit of increase, I am directed to ask you to sow a seed of $40. This is the seed God will use to break loose your harvest of miracles. More lies, honey. And as I've told you before, people like this target the religious people. Okay, because religious people are more susceptible because they have more, more giving hearts. And they are more willing to believe in something. Because these people more so than others uh want to have something to believe in they and they look to people for guidance okay several of these letters came with objects pop off said would spark our financial miracle i'm sure we probably you all some objects in those webinars at one point or another i'm just guessing i've never been there but y'all know if it's true or not uh, they included a green prayer clock one of four color varieties which Popoff said to saturate with positive thoughts of money, windfalls, and opportunities, and a wristband with several thousands printed on it that were instructed to wear for exactly eight minutes. Here, uh, here's a gallery of the items. I'm going to show you the items, but here's the thing. Didn't Wig and that dude Terrain say on that video that they wanted? I wrote it down. Hold on. They said something about... Uh, she said, sure, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's S-H-U-H. She spelled it out. And she said 54, 54 times a day for 100. No, I'm sorry, 54 uh, to 108 times per day. That's what she said for them to say, whatever she was telling them to say. They need to do it 54 to 108 times a day for 21 days. Now, y'all don't think that sounds crazy to tell. And that's the same stuff Peter Popoff saying, honey. Please wake up, black people. Oh, please wake up. There are the little... um handkerchiefs, whatnot, that he sent for the people to saturate <laughs> so they can get those blessings and financial rewards and miracles, honey. Signs and wonders, as Vicky calls them, honey. She's a whole con, just like Peter Popoff. All right, whole con. Now, let me show y'all one more nefarious video of this devil milking people out of their money and getting people to lie about testimonies and all all that BS. I want you all to know, beloveds, right here today, if you are receiving any blessings and miracles in your life or anything that you thought wouldn't happen that does happen, that came from the most high Yah, okay? That came from the most high Allah, Yah, whatever you want to call the most high. Uh, at the end of the day, that's not coming from any person that's performing anything over you, okay? Your blessings come from the most high. And you can also bless yourself because we are gods ourselves. Psalm 82, 6, you're all gods born of the most high. When you manifest things, when you say your affirmations and you visualize things and you speak positivity upon yourself and life into yourself, you can manifest things yourself. So don't sit here and let somebody keep conning you by telling you that you, you need to buy this coffee with spirits attached to it. Yeah, demonic spirits. 
And then he talked about he gonna chant over the coffee. Honey, I don't want nobody chanting nothing over my stuff, okay? Please, you don't even know what he's chanting if you're not there to see it and hear it for yourself. So please don't be fooled by this con game. That's all it is, honey. And this ain't about hate. This is about realization, awakening, and just spreading truth to power. At the end of the day, and let me say this again. Now, the other day I quoted, I quoted the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan the other day and I misspoke, but I'm gonna quote that again. And when the minister says, hurl stones at lies, okay? That's what you do. You don't sit there and listen to lies and fall for that BS. You hurl stones at lies, all right? That's what you do. Now, the other day, I mistakenly said hurl stones at the truth, but no, you hurl stones at lies. And at the end of the day, stop listening to the lies of the devil's minions who've come to fool you and who come, about, come upon you as false prophets, okay? As wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay, because these people are nefarious and they are not of God. They have no God in them. And I want y'all to think about this and think real clearly. If Wig was such a spiritual person and she was so high vibrational, why or oh why would she put Angel Love's stuff, her information, personal information all over the internet? Why would she lie and post those things about Angel being a fraud? And those are absolutely lies. We've already proven uh, behind the scenes that they're lies, but y'all going to see very soon just how their lives okay sit back all right sit back because um there's things that's going on that y'all will hear about momentarily and i'm gonna let angel tell y'all that herself i'm not gonna speak too much on that but here do we go. you need a miracle real people with real needs are receiving real life changing miracles when they use the miracle spring water my husband brought the spring water up and i drank it and i'm speaking today i had no speech totally paralyzed and now i'm testifying you have sent me the water and i used it you told me i was going to get a check for seven thousand dollars sure enough i got a check in the mail it was exactly seven thousand dollars this faith tool will help you to see liberation from the bondage of debt. It's free. I want to send it to you. No obligation. Call me now. And when you told me to anoint my checkbook yesterday, I received a letter for over $45,000 that my second mortgage was paid off. Get the spring water, drink the spring water, or whatever you need to do with it. It really works. Release your faith now by calling for your free packet of Miracle Spring Water. It's free just for calling. Now I want y'all to pay attention to another part of his con too. So the thing is this, very often these nefarious devils, uh, they give you these things for free, right? And then they double back and ask you for some cash. Now he said he's giving you this free miracle spring water. Well, of course it's free. He got it from his own tap, I'm sure. And then here's the thing. He says it's free, but then once you receive it, it's a letter in there telling you to send him a seed, so a seed of $19. And then after you get that first letter, he sends you another one talking about he wants $27. And then after you get that one, he sends you another one talking about $33. Does this all sound familiar? Please tell me we doesn't do the same thing with these webinars. Okay, so she can miss me with it. With that all being said, uh video said did he get arrested no honey he didn't get arrested because here's the thing what he's doing is not against the law it's a legal con game and that's that's what i'm telling you wig is doing what is a legal con okay by telling people this bs and people believe it foolishly and that is to their own detriment all right so with that all being said at the end of the day i'm not trying to prove anything to wigs uh subscribers who still want to vouch for her and all of that i'm not trying to prove anything to them because they're beyond anything being proven to them at this point they suffer from cognitive dissonance and stockholm syndrome and i feel sorry for them and i continue to pray for them and weak but i'm talking to you all he's selling pimp juice absolutely beloved absolutely so i'm just basically bringing all of this out because it needs to be called out okay and this is what i'm gonna say to you all this is a uh, Hold on, hold on. Somebody said I'm a hater. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go back and see who that was. Winter Angel said, you're a hater, sis. First of all, I'm not your sis. I'm not your sis, boo. And if I'm such a hater, why are you in my chat? Why are you in my chat? I don't, I listen. And let me tell y'all like this. Y'all know I don't care what uh, wigs people say. I don't care what wigs people say because they are brainwashed, hoodwinked, and bamboozled. Honey, if you think that the queen has any reason to hate on wig, please think again. Hate for what? Wig is completely fake and fraudulent. And those uh, that picture I have in the thumbnail, I want y'all to pay attention. If you go on wig's community page and you look 
at those pictures that she's posted, one of them's on my thumbnail. But if you look at the pictures she's posted from that photo shoot that she did here in Atlanta uh, with all the pink stuff around, now I can tell y'all some stuff about that, why she had on that pink and why she had that little Barbie doll get up too, but I'm not even gonna get into that. I'm not even gonna, cause I could tell y'all some nefarious stuff on it, but y'all don't even know. But I'll say this, go look at those pictures. Wig has a filter and she's clearly gotten the uh pictures edited so that she has european features okay i was told that also not that i didn't notice it just from looking but they said she specifically wanted to have european like features as you can go look at it she has her nose looking much smaller than it actually is and you can look at it and clearly tell that it's either photoshopped or a filter is used so she's trying to look like Europeans and she tries to wear her hair like Europeans. And what black woman does all this? That's what Karen's do. So please miss me with it, beloved. I don't have any reason to be jealous of wig, honey. All right. I don't have any reason to be jealous of wig. So you can keep thinking that. But here's what I want to say to the young lady, Winter Angel. Winter Angel, you people who want to clout chase and cape for wig, all y'all ever can do is say that I'm a hater. What you can't ever do is prove some receipts, show some receipts. Didn't we tell y'all dumbasses? And I don't even like to curse, but did she tell y'all dumbasses that she likes uh, that it's y'all's responsibility to call out snitch behavior, that it's y'all's responsibility to go dig up those receipts? So go dig up those receipts and prove that I'm lying about anything that I said. Don't sit here and gaslight and deflect and call me a hater. Uh, if I am a hater, this hater showed proof. Can you dispute it? That's what you need to do. Don't come in here talking about I'm a hater. Prove that I'm lying. Drop some receipts because I've dropped numerous of them and I still got more where they came from. All right. So like I said, as long as we continues her nefariousness, following my friends, trying to get close to them. I don't know what she thinks she's going to gain by doing it. But my friends come back and tell me, honey, they come back and tell me. Right. And so at the end of the day, sending people to flag channels and all that, honey, she's the hater. And if you don't know that by now, Winter Angel, be you a fool. You're stupid. You're idiotic. You need the help. You're lacking, okay, in the mental capacity department. And that's all I have to say about that. I have proved what I had to prove, baby. <laughs> I know you're mad. I know y'all mad, y'all uh, V Hive members, y'all V Keepers. I know you're mad. And I know Wig is mad. And I absolutely love it. So I absolutely love it. So, honey, you can call the queen a hater. I don't really care what y'all say. Y'all are completely irrelevant to me. Yes, Harlem Brown said buffoonery. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Reggie said angel is bewitched. Yes, winter angel, you are absolutely bewitched. You're spellbound, honey. You don't drink the Kool-Aid. See, another person that wig reminds me of is Jim Jones. Jim Jones, honey, with all the nefariousness that he did, I, she reminds me of him. And some of her people have clearly drank the Kool-Aid, honey. Uh, so I'm going to pray for you, Winter Angel, that you come out from under the slumber and that you awaken to a new day and a new way of living and that you realize that you've been conned, honey, that you've been fooled, you've been tricked. And I feel sorry for you. So I'm not going to go in on you too hard or too bad because I really feel sorry for you because you need help, mental help, baby. That's what you need. Um, when you decide to, if you ever do awaken and realize the foolishness that you've been engaging in, feel free to come to the queen for a consultation. Who knows? I might even give you one for free just as a charity because you clearly need it. With that all being said, everyone, please like and share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, be sure to pick that notification bell and click the word all uh, each time so that you're notified each time the queen goddess goes live. You can follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadai Shakur. Make sure you follow the Queen Amadai Shakur fan page. You can also follow me on Twitter at TheGoddess27. My work here is done, okay? Uh, so with that all being said, I wish you all love, peace, and prosperity. Uh, each one, teach one. That's how we grow and thrive. Do something productive and constructive, never destructive, because you don't want to be like wig, do you? And at the end of the day, make sure to always keep the most high, not Satan, first in your life.
It's just another day, another black king captured I'm about to lose my brain stuck inside this ghetto rapture I got a lot of smoke, if you want it, you can have it They want a hat trick, but this is black girl magic Ain't talking about the kind that'll make you disappear But I'm talking about the power of the melanin within Ain't looking for trouble, but I'ma say this one time I put two dupes up if you try to touch mine We still want justice for Samir and Trayvon You say you don't see color, but racism ain't blind They targeting little kids whose skin look just like mine So I'm paranoid, it's a war zone outside And I'm a black queen, so if you ask me to step out of my car You gon' have to snatch me, cause I ain't going no damn well Had to spend my whole life living unfair Ancestors got my back and they right here You can never understand, it's a nightmare Living in my black shoes by the black rules You can keep your handshake, I don't dap coon The white man would go nuts if he cash you But you all on his side like a damn fool Make it make sense We are oppressed Queen. We are exploited We are downtrodden Make it Queen. make sense We are denied not only civil rights but even human rights Alma Dyer So the only way we're going to get some of this Alma Dyer Oppression and exploitation Queen Away from us or aside from us Is come together Queen. against the common enemy Who taught you to hate the Alma Dyer on your Oh my Parents, pay attention to the books, the school system, even to your little children. Lies mixed with wisdom. His skin too bright, so he was blind to the prison. My skin just right, so I collide with the vision. You trying to pray to God, but we tired of religion. No savior saving, we got to save our savings. We used to pay miss, how we gon' make the slave rich? But who's to blame and tell me why you complaining? We need a team effort just to rule the nation. Like a bad relationship, missing communication. We missing moderation. They trying to get a poison to my population. No reparations. I'm getting tired of Satan. We are oppressed. Queen. I'm getting tired of waiting. We are downtrodden. Queen. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. Alma Dyer.